guys welcome back to the SBS channel so I'm trying to cook you guys think I don't know how to cook so me challenged me to cook for my wife me I'm going to surprise you eh? unfortunately I forgot to record because I'm, I'm I've been busy today so I was just gonna cook this is a regular day cooking but you know I just thought, let me record this for Ni so that you know that I can cook. Yeah? <laughs> Alright. Okay, so. The yam is already peeled. I've actually just cut them already. So, they're already in the pan. I'm just going to get the rest that I'm going to need. Yeah? Let me get the... Uh, I'll be back. Hold on. Alright, I'm here. Don't worry. So... Right now, the yam is already peeled. The yam is already peeled, yeah? I just need the pepper and the garden eggs. In the... I just need to boil it, you know, with the, together with the yam. I've got some peppers here. Frozen. I'm just gonna use one, because it's a bit... So, I've got the garden eggs. I wash them. I'll wash them and I cut them. Actually, I don't need all this. I'll just get the ones that I need. Okay, so I wash this. I just I just like to cut the bit the top bit. Yeah. If you wanna see what I'm doing, let me just put it here so you can see. Yeah. So I just cut the top part of the garden eggs. One, two, three, four. It's just two of us, so I'm just trying not to do it too much. Okay, so I'm just cutting the the head. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Mm. Just cut this into two. It just makes it boil faster, so I can take it out. I'll feed it whilst the the yam is boiling, and then I can start preparing the stew. Because I don't have much time. So when I cut them into two, it's quicker. Yeah. So Ni, I'm a good cook. I just don't cook often. <laughs> yes, so I'll just wash this and then put it on the Uh, get more. Hmm. Let me get one more. Uh, I'm not eating. I like this too. So. The more the better. Alright, so so that one is done. Just gonna put water on it and then so you know so you see the water? Yeah, don't put too much because you don't want it to be too soft, you know, like. So, just slightly above the level of the yam and the garden eggs that I put in. That should be fine. So, I'm going to add some eggs to it because I'm going to, but yeah, I'm going to need eggs. Can't eat without meat. So... 
just washing them. So one for me, one for the baby, and one for my wife. Baby will eat, I'll eat baby's eggs. If he, can, if he can't eat. So some salt. Yeah. That should be fine. Mix it together. Usually, you can actually taste to see how much salt you put in. It's alright. So, right now I just need to turn on the fire. So, yeah, food is ready. It's just gonna start, you know, boiling. So, we'll leave it for some time and then we'll continue, yeah? Okay, me. Watch me. Okay, so I just realized we've got some. Um, I don't know the English name for this. Turkey berries. Yes, turkey berries, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, that's the one I remember. Because I did some work on it before. I don't know the <laughs> English. So, I'll wash that one. So, got some, so, so this is what is in, can you see, yeah, I'm um, very terrible at controlling this camera, but I'm trying, so yeah, it's just gonna boil and then I'll just try and take the vegetables off before, I don't like this one, it's not, doesn't look good, and then I'll, I'll start making a stew whilst the Yam is continuous to boil, or oh, it depends on you know how fast it boils, or maybe they all boil together. So let's see. Cover it to make sure maximize the heat, and then yeah. So we're gonna wait till it finishes, and then yeah, we'll continue. Yeah. So I don't have time, so I figured I have to actually just you know take advantage of. The things that I can do whilst the food is boiling. So I'm just going to cut some onions and then just keep it so that by the time it finishes boiling or I get the garden eggs, it will be ready as well. Okay, so let me just, so let me just wash this. And then I'll just cut them in here. This one I'm not cutting it to any formula because I'm, I'm actually trying, trying to just grind it. So Gonna mix it with this one because this one is already there. I've used it, so instead of taking a new one, I'll just use that one. I don't think this onion is enough because I love onions, even though my wife doesn't love onions as much. I'll just try and get half of that so I always put it in that one just to keep it you know just to make sure it's okay so I'll put it in the fridge and then let me just use half of them. I'll use the other one for the um, palm oil just to You know, in the oil when I'm you know trying to boil the oil so 
See, this is a traditional apotoyoa. I don't know earthenware bowl, that's what we call it, but yeah. Instead of blending it, I know some people blend it. Sometimes I used to blend it until I got this one. She she brought this one. So we need to check our garden next to see if it's you know boiling to the extent that I want. Let me get let me wash it. Yeah, it's too hot. It's not boiled properly yet. So yeah. Hmm. Yet. So let me just cover it for the meantime. I'll just I'll continue. Let me use the salt to give it some friction in the bowl just to grind it. Be ready, so let me just get the pepper from the thing. So, hmm. Mm. how am I supposed to do this? So, I'm just gonna grind the pepper with the onions whilst we wait for the garden next to boil a bit. I want it to be as soft as possible so I don't have to use much energy. I need a technology for this. Man, it's too much energy. Grinding, but yeah, I'm trying to grind this, you know, make it a okay. bit. Personally, I don't mind the onions, you know, in it, like, you know, the onions not fully ground to, like, you know, be so ground that you can't see it. But my wife likes it that way, so I have to try and grind it that way. But me, I can even eat it with the onions in it like this. Okay. Let me check. Let me check the garden yeah, eggs. Actually, let me get it for. So, yeah, let me get this. Look for the rest. Uh, trying to get at them at one place. Yeah. I'm not ready. Okay. Out. Maybe I'm something new, but this is like my easiest food to make because obviously. So all those of you who think I can cook, see your life. See your life. Okay, I can just open it a bit just so that it doesn't, the vapor doesn't condense and then make it wet, but yeah. I am is ready as well. So, it's just time to make this too. So, 
Let's grind it a bit. Continue grinding this a bit. Just to... Okay. <laughs> Adding the turkey berries in the, the garden next. You just move them. The water on it is not bad, so you can add it because you need water anyway. Okay. So that's all in now. Grinding all of them together. There's a skill. There's a way of doing this thing. Ooh, chia, you know. And you are grinding the things. There's a way of doing it so that you know you don't lose everything. So pull it in the middle, grind it a bit, and then yeah. A natural, a natural. Boy, close your eyes, ho. Not only on your mind. We are strong. We are not strong for my cook. Come here. The only thing I don't like about Ghanaian food is how long it takes to make. It's nice when you make it. It's nice, but it just takes long. Typically, if I'm in a hurry, I'll probably blend this in. Blend this. I know you won't get the best out of it, but yeah, it will be slightly watery than expected. But yeah, it's fast and it's efficient. You know, grinding this takes too much time. Yeah. Hmm. I think I should have used half of the cookie. Because this tube is not done. I put the garden eggs were a lot. Anyway, let's see how it turns out. I need to hurry up because time is against me. Me, I can eat it like this one. But someone, she wants it for coffee, 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 coffee. The onions, you can feel the jenny, you can feel the turkey berries, corn to show everything. Then you can feel it, you know, you know that, yes, these are in. But she wants it just all blended together. So, yeah, I think right now it's okay. I'm not going to grind it again. It's fine. Yeah. Let me taste it. The hands are better than... I need a little bit of salt. Actually, let me just... Little by little, little by little. It's okay. Grind it all together again. Just mix it. I'll add some peanut butter to it, so I prefer it more like this, but I think you know peanut butter just gives it a bit of extra thing. So 
So at this time, I'm just going to cut a bit of onions just for the the oil that I'm going to you know, heat up. Boy. You fry things with oil, but you boil oil. So, yeah, just a little bit. Hey, don't cut yourself. Yeah. That's just for the oil that I'm gonna so. Okay, so let me put this one right to the back. I don't have Kobe or my money, so we just, you know, mix it with a bit of macro, yeah, macro in the sunflower, sunflower oil, yeah, because I don't have any Kobe or my money, so that's what I'll use for the I need to do my, add my um, peanut butter to it. Hey boy, you okay? I'm using um, rape seed oil. Instead of using the traditional palm oil, we use this one. Um, apparently, my wife says it's healthy. I mean, I don't know. So that's what she uses. So I'm using that one. I think, yeah, it's enough. Too much oil. It's not good. So, yeah. You know? So just put the onions in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me add the peanut butter to the can even before the oil comes on. Mix the stew with the peanut butter. Give it some peanut butter flavor. Like you are grinding it all over again, but it just mix it, it mixes it together. It looks nice. Too much peanut butter, but yeah, it's okay. Someone likes can eat peanut butter just like that. With everything. So yeah, she wants it all over the place, yeah. Right. Yeah, so yeah. Next day, um, I think the oil is okay. Let me turn it a bit. Let me heat it up a bit. It's a bit too low. All right, yeah, the other one is ready. Um, I'm just gonna add some macro to it. Mm. So I'll just put some macro in it. Take all, to make sure all the oil is out. Ooh. I'm 
grinding it because I don't want it to. I just want it to be mixed all over here. Yeah. I'll use the spoon to just mix it up. I think, yeah, my food is ready. Really, I'm just gonna make sure I could see. How will you say it in English? I'm just going to peel the eggs. Food is done actually, yeah. Food is done, so I can't eat. It's just the avocado that I'll put on and then the oil. But food is put some. Oh, you know, they, we are going to eat from the Asanka, so I'm not going to. Hey, too much oil. Yeah, I like the Jenny, but this girl. Let me see. Let me add some the Jenny to it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So that is done. So I just need to boil some eggs. So right now I'm just taking out the shell. The shell I'm taking off the shell of the egg. The boiled egg. And I'm put on the food. I've done one already. But I always forget to record, you know me. I'm not used to this man. And then just put it on. And then I'm medical too. But I didn't change him. So yeah, that just needs to go away. <laughs> yeah, so just put the avocado on the food. And then... So let me show you, yeah. See this one, this machine. It's used for avocado, but me, I'm too scared to use this. I'm doing the traditional way. See? So you do that. Hey, this avocado doesn't look nice, though. I don't think. Hey. This is British avocado. Doesn't look attractive at all. Taste. Doesn't look that bad on the outside. I just use ah, the new NASA. So it's time for the avocado to come on. That thing there is for avocados, but to me, I'm used to using the knife. Hey, what's wrong with this avocado today? God, see the avocado. Hey, this is terrible. Can get a bit of it, but I don't think, yeah, I can get any. I'll just cut it like that because the way this avocado looks, I don't like it. Looks scary, man. I think I might get some of this one. Hey, it is a top of See, this is this is why this is what makes me miss Africa. Uh, Ghana, <laughs> Africa, because you get these things naturally. Maybe the animal. But this one looks like, I don't know, looks like it's been done in a lab. So I'm just getting bits of it. 
a place that doesn't look terrible, just just that bit. This avocado looks terrible, to be honest. It's okay, no avocado. Yeah, we 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 used we used two avocados, and all, both of them are not good. See, that's the hassle. <laughs> we find ourselves in the UK. Some, sometimes you get very good ones, sometimes it's just trying your luck. So that's the only avocado we could get out of two. So, actually, I might get a bit of this one. All right, food is done. Me, yeah, I'm ready to eat. Please, food is ready. Come and eat, man. So those of you that don't know how to cook, you can use this as your recipe. I'm busy a recipe. I'm busy with garden eggs and peanut butter. Yeah. All made by Mr. Isibe. <laughs> Let me taste and see if it tastes good. Mm. Right, so guys, it's time to taste the food. I hope he, yeah, he did well. Him. Well, uh, this is not the first time he's making this, I mean, dish. So I, I would not be surprised if it tastes good. Where do I have to go? Asantini, eh, Oseku, Neba Papa. Let's taste it and see. Hmm? Let me show you guys. So it's yam with um, garden eggs. Okay. Stew. Yeah. Very simple. But it's good. Oh, boy. Are you okay? Hmm. <laughs> Let me just taste this one. That's my my bite. Hmm. <laughs> mm. The food tastes good. Not because I'm saying it because it's my husband, but. Ed, it is Ed, there was all comfortable. If you know how to cook, if you know, you know. Mm -hmm. I taste good, but you can taste the um, peanut butter. I think it's more, and that's good because I love peanut and um, the pepper. I can also taste the, the garden eggs. Literally all the ingredients you can taste it. Mm. Add it. Tastes good. You want the food, babe. You want food. You can have this. Hmm? They have you. This one is for grown ups. Hmm. This food is nice. So. Anyway, you're invited. When you be on Kenya's, you're nice. It tastes good. <laughs> Thank you for preparing this food. You're welcome. You did very well. Thank you. All right, guys. When I'm eating, I don't want the camera, so bye. <laughs> I think you should be cooking more often. What do you think, guys? We are always in the kitchen with the women 24 7. Hey, no, by way. Yeah, no, I'm on any fufu or fufu. So, I think I would have to end the video so I can enjoy this meal very well. But yeah, he did very well. Um, I didn't teach him. I didn't teach him anything. I mean, he knew what he was doing. As I said, this is not the first time he preparing this meal, so uh, I'm not surprised. I'm busy as we are Oh, I'm busy as It's not everyone that knows how to cook, so you did very well, mm. very very well. I'll give this food nine out of ten. Where's my other one point? The one point was the fact that when you finish, you didn't. I say. You garnish the food all right, yeah, but in changing. I'm coming to eat the food, uh, garnish it. <laughs> so that's the one point that you miss. Anyway, he did so well, and the food tastes good.
I've tasted it. Let me taste it again. Eh? Hmm. Oh, it's nice. Very damn, Kasa. Thank you for preparing this this dish for Mama D. And God bless you too. Hmm? For that. Thank you. So, guys, me and AJ, he has challenged you guys. Adrian and Waya, he has prepared the food very well. <laughs> I've tasted it. And it's 9 out of 10, as I said. Maybe he should cook regularly in this house. Let's hope. I don't know why I'm here, but... Let's say most, most of the times I'll prepare the you know the base, that's the stew, the soup and all that. And then the rice, the fufu, the banku and all that he would you know prepare it. So we help each other in the kitchen. So it's something that I knew that he was just going to pass this test. So up to you, me and AJ. Thank you for <laughs> giving us the opportunity, yeah, for my husband to cook for me to eat. Today is Saturday in the UK. Where done? I hear cold. They say you mean to unyam pesi we ya. Wow, to me say a koye pa. So, uh, yeah, those of you watching this video, how did he go? Do you think he missed any ingredients in what he prepared? Leave your comment down below. Drop all your comments down below and let's know. Yeah, like the video, share the video. Is this my mouth? Hey, is your mouth saying? Everybody in his taste. Ah, it doesn't matter. Like. like the video, share this video, and um, excuse me. If you're new on this channel, kindly hit the subscription button to join this family. Yeah. Until next time in our next video with the SC Base, I'll say bye for now. Ciao. Bye. Hmm.